good morning students good morning to all and last day we have studied about the characteristics of wands have you remember all the characteristics of wands and i gave the same portions as your study portions i hope you all are have studied even though just we will remain about the last day concept so the characteristics of wands so one of the characteristics of wands is wands are unlimited so we know so our wands has unlimited so even if you are completed in one of the wands so it is not come to an end so again the same wand or the another type of the wands or diseases will arise in our mind so the human wants are countless in number and various in kinds so the different type of the wants are there so but the one wants are satisfied again the same wants are the different type of the wants will rise in our mind so on the basis of the growth of civilization and the development and the new market available in this commodity new commodities available in our market so different kinds of the wants may arise next wants become habit how wants will become a habit and first time if you want to consume any of the commodities as per our situation or our money or something etc okay but that first time consuming of one of the commodities will begin as a habit for example the drinking a cup of coffee or tea in every morning we are going to drink a tea or coffee okay so once if you are consuming the coffee or tea in the particular time so it will become a habit okay so normally so the winter time or the rainy time we will want to consume a cup of coffee and in the hot time we will want to consume a cool drinks okay so on the basis of time climate weather conditions so some of the wants to consuming the commodity this will become as a habit and some of the persons will reading the newspaper daily this is become as a habit some of the persons get angry or get tense so they will go to smoke so such as the wants will become as a habit next wants are satiable so even though if we have more wants so the all type of wants are has one of the character of satiable so wants will easily satisfied by consuming that commodity is what we want already so different kinds of the wants may be arisen in our mind but suppose any of the time we can't consuming all the commodities what we want but even though some other type of the commodities can able to satisfy our wants to consuming some of the commodities for say says me example if we want to drink a cup of coffee and if there is no availability we can easily drink a cup of tea and our wants will satiable right so if he wants if he get any type of wants that wants are will have one of the characteristics of satiable next wants are alternative how it has the alternative choice mean there are alternative ways to satisfy the particular wants normally if you want to consuming some of the commodities and if the commodity is not there and the alternative commodities and the substitute commodities will be existing so by using the substitute commodities we can get the satisfaction for example daily morning or three times we are going to eat so the different kinds of the food also will be available in home and hotels but the same time if you want to eat the idli and if there is no idli so we can eat the those who are in another type of the food so we can easily change our 
mood or mind or our types of want so all the wants are having the alternative characters next wants are competitive so wants are competitive means so different kinds of the wants are there and in this wants also we have to give some of the preference which ones have to satisfy at first the most urgent ones and the less urgent ones for example if you are being hungry and you have the 15 or 100 rupees in this time you can two choices you can satisfy your wants that is eating in enough the foods then when we are eating some of the foods your hungry feeling will disappear and the same time if you want to go to the watching movie you can go by using that 100 rupees but in these two ones the competitions are there so the most urgent want and the less urgent want you are being very hungry but in the same time you must be eat some of the food then you will spend that 100 rupees for eating some of the food only okay so there will be a competition between the most urgent want and the less urgent ones next ones are complement ones are complement mean the composite goods are they are too consuming only enough the commodities that time only the our wants will come to an end then we will get some of the satisfactions for example if you want to use the pen we must need of paper and the ink then only we can write anything otherwise we want to drink a cup of tea we must need a milk sugar and tea powder then only so we can get the complement goods of tea so our wants also having the complementary characters next wants are recurring recurring means so it will occur again and again so now if you are getting one type of wants and we are completing or we are getting the satisfactions then some hours or some days it will not be occurs then again the same wants will be arranged in our mind for example so daily we are eating food at three times so morning if you are being if you are feeling hungry and we will get some food and get the satisfactions okay and the next four hours we won't get the wants of food then again the lunch and the dinner time so the same wants will be appear in our mind so the wants will again and again right next classification of goods the classification of goods will be classified on the basis of necessary things and the comforts and the luxuries items. Okay, so normally all type of the peoples will be in the need of necessary goods. Okay, so the wants will be appear on the basis of fulfilling our necessity of life, the food, clothes and shelters. Okay, without these three things, no persons can live as normally. Okay, so on the basis of fulfilling our necessity life, basic necessities life, some of the wants will be appears. So this type of the goods will considered as a necessary goods, the food, clothes and shelter. Next, the wants will appear on the basis of being comfortable life. If you want to live with a comfortable life, some of the goods will be needed. The TV, fridge, washing machine and the power supply and the what? some of the fan okay if you want to live with some of the comfortable we need of some of the goods okay so on the basis of comfortable if you want to consume any of the goods that goods are called as a comfortable goods next luxury goods some of the ones will be appear on the basis of being luxuries Okay, so after fulfilling our necessary life, necessary goods and the comfort goods, even if we want to purchasing some of the goods to exposing our image to the society, we will be in need of some goods. So the car, the gold, diamond and some of the costly ornaments is an yeah, example for the luxury goods. Okay. okay, students, today we will go to the next concept okay students today concept today's concept is demand normally what do you have understand 
by the demand if you are normally saying we are being in demand of some of the goods but you must understand the meaning of demand in normal life and in economics world so the demand is essential for the creations okay demand is the essential for the creations if you want to create any goods or services and something so the demand is essential you no know? if there is no demand there is no creations and creativity for example if the producers want to produce some commodity or if the innovator want to bring some of the innovations on the commodities must be the demand is must to one okay so normally we are using the normal phone if there is demand to the android phone only the create will be formed or the inventory item will be come to the market okay so if you want to create some of the goods and services or create anything so the demand is essential okay on the basis of the demand only the supply and the productions everything will be happen not only that even if the producers want to earning more profit or one farm want to have a profitability so the demand is necessary okay so if there is no demand so there is more profit in our market and the production unit because on the basis of the demand only the producers have to increasing their commodities okay so without in the demand so even if you are producing commodities it will not come to the market and it is not consumed by the consumer because the consumer will not want to the commodity right so on the basis of demand only the price also will be increase so on the basis of the increased price only so the all the firm will have the more profitable okay so the demand is essential for the creation survival and the profitability of a firm so demand in economics is the desire to possess something and the willingness and the ability to pay a certain price in order to possess it normally if you want to consuming something for that demand is not necessary so before that we must know about the difference between the wants and demand so normally wants mean is one of the desire to consuming some of the commodity okay but the demand mean so with the wants so the consumer must be have the power to pay the purchase the commodity to pay within a certain price all the persons need the ability to pay and the willingness to purchasing the commodity that is called demand okay so the demand is an desire to possess something and the willingness and the ability to pay a certain price in order to possess it if you want to possess some of the commodities we must have the willingness and the ability to pay the commodity okay so that only it is considered as a demand next we can see the characteristics of demand what are the characteristics are there in this demand mean first one on the basis of price so demand is always related to the price how how demand will be always related to the price mean so on the basis of the price only demand of the commodity will be decide okay or on the basis of the demand of the commodity only so the price will be determined right if there is more demand of commodity is existing in this market so the producers also will be increasing the product a supply of the product okay otherwise if there is no chance to increasing the supply of the product so he will increasing the price of that demanded commodity okay 
so the demand is always related to the price only okay so the demand only is determined the price so if the price is increased so the demand automatically will be decreased okay so otherwise the demand first it is the first the demand is increased so the price automatically also will be increased by the producers okay just you have to understand first at first the demand of one commodity is increased so the producers will increase the price of the commodities okay and the price of the commodity is increased at first in the market so the demand for that commodities will be reduced by the consumer because the consumer will reduce the amount of commodities which has the high price okay so the demand is always related to the price next time so the demand always means the demand per unit of time per day per week or per month okay normally the demand for one commodities may be changed on the basis of time only for example the demand for the stationary item will be always higher in the school open time so on the time of the june july month and the demand for the umbrella also will be higher in the rainy days okay and the demand for the cool drinks always will be higher in the summer time okay and not only that whenever the demand for that commodities may be increased on the time of month suddenly if the more functions are existing in our societies on the basis of the functions some type of the commodity the price of some commodities will be increase right normally in our areas the weekly markets are there so the price for that comma vegetable price for that vegetable will always will be changed within one week so the time of the market days the price will be reduced and other time or other days so the price of the commodities will be in higher okay so on the basis of time only the demand for one goods will be changed next market so the demand is always related to the market market means so mostly so the buyer and the sellers so the buyers and the sellers only will be dominating or determining the market conditions so if the buyers are not ready to consuming or purchasing all the commodities in this market so there is no demand so the producers also will not increasing their supply right otherwise if the sellers are fixing the price of that commodities as higher rate so the buyer will reduce the amount of commodity okay and the availability of market in our society there is more market so the price of the commodities will be very low okay and there is more demand and less or the number of market only is there mean the demand for the commodities will be increased okay normally in our area so the weekly market day market monthly market and different type of the markets are there okay and many market is existing okay so in this time so the demand for that commodities always will be low because the availability of commodity is very higher in our area okay so the demand is also related to the market and the buyer and seller because the purchasing power of the buyer only will be determined the demand next amount so the amount also considered as the demand amount also will be deals or will be related to the demand the demand is always a specific quantity which has a consumer is willing to purchase okay so normally the rational consumers want to get the full or the optimum satisfactions when they are consuming any of the commodities okay so when they will get the optimum or maximum satisfactions mean when they are purchasing with the low price and the more commodity is there they will get the most satisfactions okay so the amount also will be determined the demand 
so the consumer also have to the power to purchasing any of the commodity or otherwise the consumer have to the willingness to purchasing any of the commodities with the reasonable price so the amount also one of the character to deciding the demand right so the four characteristics are there price time market and amount okay so the demand is always related to this four concept price time market amount okay next demand function how demand will be functioning or on the base, on which basis the demand will be change or will be function so the demand depends upon the price already we studied you know so mostly the demand depends upon the price only so the law of demand also drawn by the base of changes of price of commodity only okay so whenever the price of the commodity is increased so the demand for that commodity will be decrease okay so whenever the demand for that commodity is decrease so the price also will be decrease so the demand function so the demand depends upon the price this means demand for a commodity is a function of price on the base on the basis of change of the price of commodity only the demand for that commodity also will be change so normally the demand function mathematically denotes as a d is equal to functions of price d is equal to functions of price here the d is demand f means function t means price okay so this demand is always determined on the basis of or the functions of price if the price is increased so the demand also will be increased increase means change if the price is changed on the basis of changing price level of commodity so the demand will be change so we can draw the demand function as mathematically d is equal to f into t so d mean demand f mean function t mean price right okay good so next we will study the law of demand so for studying the demand one of the law is there so on the basis of law only the demand is will be functioning or how the demand is create or how the demand is changing is explained by one of the law is called as a law of demand so the law of demand was first stated by the augustine hornat in 1838 so after that it was refined and elaborated by alfred marshall okay so the law of demand is stated by the augustine cornat in 1838 but after that so the alfred marshall only refined and elaborated the law so the law of demand says the quantity demanded increases with a fall in price and diminishes with the rise in price so always i have told you to explaining the demand so the law of demand says the quantity demanded increases the quantity demanded man the demand of the commodity is increases with a fall in price so if there is more price or the low price so the demand of the commodity will be increase so at the same time if the price or uh, the demand will be decrease when the price of that commodity is increase okay normally it is one of the knowledge of the market only when we are going to the market you will purchase more commodities after hearing the price of that commodities if it is low you will purchase more 
right and if the price is very high here then you will reduce your amount of commodity right so the law of demand also explains the same the quantity demanded increases with the fall in price and the diminishes with the rise in price when there is more price when there is higher prices of commodity the quantity demand will be reduced and if the low price so quantity demanded will be increased so some of the assumption also is there to understand the law of demand the first the income of the consumer remain constant the income of the consumer remain constant the income of the consumer remain constant mean so normally the people are earning some amount of money in the way of income okay so the income should not be changed on the basis of time or whenever the price of the commodity is increased and the demand is arised and the time of demand is arised or the price of increased so the income of the consumer must remain constant okay next the taste habit and preference of the consumer will be remain constant okay because the demand of the commodity always will be changeable on the basis of taste habit and preference of the consumers okay so by explaining the law of demand so the taste habit preference of consumer also have to remaining constant then only so we, the law of demand will be applied next the price of other related goods should not change the price of other related goods should not changes okay students if you want to explaining this law of demand we must need the full time class so we will study tomorrow okay so today see enough the law of demand and the characteristics of demand so we will study the law of demand and tomorrow okay so your study portion today study portion is just to study the characteristics of demand and the demand function only thank you if you have any doubt ask me